Hello children, I'd like to take some time to teach you how to write a meaningful reflection. Check this out though, I don't know if you can see this as well. I actually looked in a thesaurus, which is a tool that gives me synonyms for words, what, what it means to reflect. And you know, when we think of looking in a mirror, we think of a phrase some, uh, like throwing back, casting back. Um, snow reflects light, it sends back or sends light something comes right back at you look in a mirror right now and you'll see yourself uh, the light gets thrown back at you and what you see in the mirror is something that is sent back to you uh, that's the reflection when we think of reflecting um, on work or reflecting on life or reflecting when it comes to our thinking we're thinking about something we're considering something we're giving consideration to something we're contemplating, we're mulling over, we're, we're just really um, thinking deeply about something. And I'm going to teach you how, or maybe teach is not the right word, I'm going to model to you and show you an example of a meaningful reflection and then a, I mean, a reflection that's not very meaningful. But I've color-coded this uh, document in a variety of colors. And when I think of reflecting upon our work, when you look inside your uh, kitten folder, when you reflect upon all the work in that folder, there are seven things, really, that you should be doing. It's important for you as a student to know why you're having the success you're having. It's important for you as a student to know why you're struggling the way you are. Part of that is understanding why you think the way you think. Part of that is understanding how you're thinking. To reflect, I need you to look back at your work. That's the first thing. You have to actually look at it. You have to read all the comments that I put on your work. You have to understand the coding that goes onto your work. You need to know the score and be able to calculate the score of your work. You need to be able to look back at your work and ask what you're doing well. So look back at your work and ask, what am I doing well? Look back at your work and ask, why am I doing this well? So right now, there are two things, I've, or three things I've told you. Look back at your work. That's what it means to reflect. To reflect, I've told you it means to look back at your work and ask, what am I doing well? To reflect also means to look back at your work and ask, why am I doing this well? To reflect also means to look back at work and ask, what should I do to continue to have success? You have to know what you have to do to continue to have success. In other words, what should you keep doing to do well? You really should start thinking about your thinking. I'll say that again. Start thinking about your thinking. What am I doing or what should I continue to do to, to have success? You have to look back at your work and ask what you need to improve in. That's what it means to reflect. To reflect also means to look back at your work and ask, what is what is my plan for improving in an area? And to reflect also means to look back at your work and, and recognize the teacher's comments. Please read the comments. It's what takes the longest part of grading, writing all of those comments. And I hope that you value what I write on your paper because it's really personal and it's individualized for you. To, to reflect means to look back at your work and recognize what I, your teacher, has written down on your papers and ask yourself what it means. To reflect also means to look back at your work and know why you're having the successes or struggles that you are. There are two examples. You'll take a closer look at this uh, if, I, if I provide you a document uh, of this, a copied document. And in this meaningful reflection, the first thing you'll notice is that all of these colors on what it means to reflect are inside or highlighted the text of the meaningful reflection. And if you look at the not meaningful, meaningful reflection, nothing's highlighted. Let's take a look at the examples. And uh, we'll probably spend another two and a half to three minutes covering this. A meaningful reflection it has this color coding of green. After looking at my work, I did well with answering becoming Naomi Leon text questions. Well, the green actually indicates a student who knows what he or she is doing well. 
Take a look at this yellow highlighting. Yellow means looking back at the work and asking, why am I doing this well? Well, the student writes, uh, I did well with answering the questions because I got full points for using the text and for my answers making sense. But the student really goes deeper and is more specific and explains why he or she's doing this well. I'm doing this well because I've been taught when I was younger and later reviewed by Mr. Bate to use complete sentences and find proof in the text to support my answer. If you look at the turquoise highlighting, look back at work and recognize the teacher's comments. Student writes, Mr. Vade said, I went back into the text. I didn't use complete sentences. So, the student's writing what I wrote. A student also, in part of reflection, knows to look back at the work and ask what I need to do to improve in a particular area. So, student writes, I noticed I have a lot of spelling errors in my work. Okay, but then the student does this, what's highlighted in orange. The student looks back at the work and asks what the plan is for improving. So not only does the student recognize or notice the area that needs improvement, the spelling, but the student actually has a plan in place. The student writes, I'm actually going to spend time looking at the words to spell them right because they're right on the page. That's part of the plan. So you have to know what the problem is and then try to come up with a plan for it. In addition to that, Let's see what's highlighted in purple. Look back at the work and ask, what should I do to continue having success? The student here writes, this is something to do with math. You'd have to read what it says uh, to understand this math part. What I'm understanding is how to multiply, how to divide, how to interpret remainders. I got better with multiplying decimals. So the, students, the student has a plan. What should I do to continue to have success? Um, I watch the video lessons, uh, I join Mr. Bates for small group construction, I'll continue that too. So he or she writes, I will continue to watch videos and join Mr. Bates for small group construction. And you know, the, the whole this whole reflection here that I'm showing you, this meaningful one, has everything highlighted. And you should look at this and try to highlight everything that you can. I'll provide you a copy of this so that you can see what a meaningful reflection looks like. Look at this one that's not meaningful. I'll tell you the least meaningful comments a student can make. And I've heard it before. I'm going to study more. Please do not write. I will study more. It just, I don't believe it. I mean, I, I, I know most of you will and you'll try. But the thing is, to say that you're going to study more, <laughs> it doesn't mean anything to me. Because everyone can say, anyone can say that. If you have a plan in place about studying what you're going to study, how you're going to study, where you're going to study, when you're going to study, that's different. But just to, stay, just to say you'll study more, look at this. It's an awful reflection. After looking at my work, I think I did really well in reading class. In math, I got some good scores and some low scores, so it's a mix. I think I'll just study more. I plan on studying more for social studies, too, because I got my Columbus essay back. There's no score on it, but I'm just going to study more and read more. And all this is just, it's fake. I don't buy it. Don't write stuff like this. This is just, it's fake. I can tell, I'm really good at telling when, when you mean something, when you're being fake. So please, don't write this kind of stuff. I'll provide you with a copy of A Meaningful Reflection. Try to use that instead. Thanks, bye.